Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I gotta tell you, this is a freshly laundered lappy job. Look how beautiful it is, and it smells so great. It actually, honestly, it smells, it doesn't smell bad, but uh, they changed the gain a little bit. It's got some new thing in it. There's a little, and it's really bothering me. I just like the regular gain. It's really important to me. I'm very particular about things and smells. But uh, anyway, God, it's so smooth. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, issue number six of The Silencer. This is my favorite comic book. I absolutely love it, which is really funny because again, like I say, when it was announced last uh, year, I just rolled my eyes. It, it was like, a, you know, a, a, a black woman with her short hair doing what is typically a man's job and that, that had become such a cliche that I just said, whatever, I'm just gonna buy this thing and roast it. Loved every single issue. Not only that, but it has a care, it, has, it, it was created with a artist that I love, John Romita Jr., who quite frankly doesn't do his best work these days. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. It depends on, I don't know what's, I can't really predict it. Um, uh, but uh, then he was uh, re replaced by Victor Bogdanovich, and who lad, this guy is killing it. Now, we're going to see he is aping Greg Pulo, but I'm going to explain why I don't have a problem with that. So first of all, um, uh, <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff. So I'm finishing up a one week, uh, whoo, got hot, sun came out, uh, one week uh, Twitter suspension, and <laughs> everyone is going, it's like they know I'm suspended, so they're becoming like extra egregious. Patrick Zercher has been baiting us and insulting all of us like all day long and it finally came out he's like well last year uh, uh they did something and we thought uh they thought i was for them and i he, i need to know that they uh, it, they aren't uh, um, i'm not i was just like dude i don't even remember that stuff but you really really just give your way yourself away you're just showing that this is such a mean girls atmosphere that me doing one video that i don't remember doing probably six seven eight months ago is the people in comics the people bullying each other in comics the sjw's they got you on the ropes and you're there in your 50s kowtowing it's embarrassing dude meanwhile this is old good old written by good old dan abnett the guy who comes through 10 out of 10 times just like shaft uh so anyway the story is uh it's basically <laughs> It's basically John Wick. This is some twist. It's John Wick. Um, but that's fine because it's not only John Wick. Like, they take the John Wick thing and they roll with it. You know, if you want to say Jawbreakers is G.I. Joe with superpowers, pff, I'll say thank you, you know. But it's more than that. And it's the same thing here. Wow, it's getting really, really hot. I got played. Um, okay, so uh, we're starting off the... She used to work for this group. She got out. You know, like that, that happens a lot in, in things like this. Then uh, she came back in for one mission. <laughs> I'm, I'm, when I, when you describe it, you kind of talk people out of it because it sounds like stuff that's been million, done a million times, which it has. But it's, yeah, you can see it's got like a fresh style. It's it's very fun. There's a lot of action. Uh, it's um, it's got a good pace. Something's happened in every single issue, and it really feels. Well, one thing, it actually really doesn't feel like an ongoing series. It because the ongoing series, you kind of start and you get into some kind of ongoing situation that can, you know, like Star Trek. You don't have to show all the episodes in order. You, you understand. They're on a mission five years, blah. Um, but this one seems more like a maxi series, which I, unfortunately I think it's going to end up being the sales are not good. And they started out blah, and they, they're not good. Um, uh, I'm going to attribute that mostly to, uh, you know, dissed I think everyone when they saw the picture of this short haired you know masculine haircut uh, uh, you know a vaguely ethnic woman that had been shoved in her face so many times who never had any kind of depth we're talking about other similar looking characters that everyone just said nope no I'm not gonna do it but I I am I actually don't think I've done this before I've recommended things I'm going to ask you to buy this um, I'm going to uh, uh, say uh, I'd really appreciate if you bought it, took a picture, did hashtag move the needle. It's one of the number one hashtag move the needle uh, books. You know, uh, 
Mr. Miracle, uh, Batman White Knight, and Silencer were probably the top three, and basically anything with Chip Zdarsky. That's some really good company to keep. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of confused about why this is uh, not selling uh, uh, more, but it's good, fun, brisk story. Uh, they, then they intro, you know, we get this good fight, we get some... We didn't get a kill, because, you know, it's comics, and it's the Al Ghul, so you don't really kill him, but we get this nice little knife strike. By the way, I woke up, and one of my uh, buddies on Facebook, he had, you know, those, uh, just dumb videos, how to escape if someone's got a knife to you, or if someone's got a gun to you, and it was really, really interesting, because, number one, uh, they got two guys that were both special forces guys, and um, so usually when you have these demonstrations it's like one mr cool you know uh, uh king dingling and then it's just some like dope so it's like well of course the king dingling is always going to be better you just got like your newest student to demonstrate with. they were both special forces guys they were both in it to win it and the really fascinating thing i saw was that it was actually easier because they had a, a gun that shot uh paint rounds and it was actually easier to to evade a person with a gun in your back uh, than a gun in your front um, and it just has to do with kind of like since the back tends to be kind of flat and moves as a mass you can kind of turn it out of the way whereas the front there's like these shoulders that move around there's a head so even when you, when you turn away there's this stuff that you know uh, is your, your chin or your shoulder is going to catch it but when you got your back your back is just flat so it's a target and then it's like gone um, so I thought that was really cool um, and uh but uh, that's, that's a nice little strike, and I just like her expression. Oh, there was this great hit. Check out this fight right here. That is a hit. I actually, actually made a sound when I saw it. I was like, oh, damn. Um, but then we get into, uh, we meet this new crew. It, it's been really cool because, you know, it's John Wick, and John Wick is not Batman. John Wick, you know, uh, he either shoots you the first time he sees you, or he's going to shoot you like three scenes later. One or two people will make it to the end, and then shoots them at the end. What I'm saying is, uh, in this type of thing, you have to create a lot of villains because this is this is a main character that puts you in the dirt. You know, you're not constantly coming back. So uh, Dan Abnett as and uh, John Romita Jr. already came up with a, a couple of versions, but I got to say these are my favorite. It's this group called Cradle and Grave, and at first you see it's like this little kid and an old woman, but they they actually have like a Super Saiyan mode where they transform. I'm going to skip a couple pages so I don't get a copyright strike. Then they got this look. I was like, damn, this is frick actually freaking cool. Like, I'm really, really into this. So go check it out. Like I said, I think this is the first time I've done this. I'm going to ask you. Maybe it wasn't. I've done like a 1,100 videos. It gets hard to remember everything. Um, but I even like the body language and acting. So John Romita Jr. is just doing the uh, covers right now. Um, but it's quite good. Uh, oh, Sandra Hope is doing the inking. I thought this was Al Williamson. Al Williamson used to do these lines that weren't with the ruler. Actually, this is really good. That's so funny. Like, everyone's like, Comicsgate hates uh, women and people of color. Honor guest, woman of color. Sandra Hope, woman of color. She's Asian. She's, and she actually got into the 1990s when it was like a purely merit industry. She's been around forever. So, um... But she's Asian, so you can't tell. Um, but anyway, uh, check this book out. I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking you to tr just try at least one issue. Um, so, uh, who let it got hot out here? What? So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give it to the Super Chat, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content. Like I said, I'm going to be off Twitter jail tomorrow. Raring to go on Indie on uh, another Indiegogo. This one's going to be Iron Sights. It's uh, black and white, uh, uh, basically like border noir, Tarantino type of Sicario type of thing. I love it. All of the art is done. All of it. And it's, I think, uh, it's uh, 50 pages or letter. So this is going to be a very exciting uh, project because when, this, when the end of the quite short, it's going to be like a two-week Indiegogo campaign, uh, it's going to be ready to go, like to the printers, like, you know, because uh, uh, when you do Indiegogo, it's not like 
Kickstarter or where it waits to the end and that's when they charge the you know credit card. So a lot of people like they quit like the day before. <laughs> like Indiegogo, you know everyone's name, address as soon as they order it. So like the campaign ends. I can send this to the uh, the printer like the next day. So uh, the uh, Iron Sights is actually going to get to you before Jawbreakers. So anyway, uh, wait, uh, thanks for watching. And I'm going to do a live stream tonight. Still trying to troubleshoot what my uh, upload problems are. Um, somebody was, uh, was telling me they think it's my processor is overheating. Uh, I have damaged my phone since I used to do a lot and didn't have problems. So that might be part of it. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. And I'll have more videos up later today. Bye.